Yeah, this is a this is like a this is a loaded question a little bit because I think it's, it kind of like depends, right? So for me personally, um, I was during my college time, like some people, like some other college students, like I even though I had a job, I had a lot of responsibility, so I had a, I was strapped for cash a lot. So one thing that I had to rely on was relationship building. I had to rely on um, providing value to people. Uh, sort of upfront, right? Like to be volunteer and be helpful to people in certain situations. So a good example of it is when I, my first, no, my freshman orientation, right? Like the day before my freshman orientation, I met uh, this dude, I, I think I think David still works at Brooklyn College, but um, this dude, David Wells, right? And um, I met him and I knew he was, he was like sort of heading up student affairs and he was, um, you know, throwing essentially the, the orientation. And I asked him, can I volunteer? And he said, sure, of course, what year are you? I said, well, I'm a freshman. He's like, you're gonna volunteer for your own orientation? No, you gotta be a part of it. But he, he loved the fact that I was trying to help and that's how I got hired. Like literally on the spot, built that relationship um, with David right there. And so, yeah, exactly, David is great. Um, so that's what I mean, like throughout my entire time, like there were times where I couldn't, I didn't really have money for food, but there was events going on, but I knew who, who was organizing it. So I, you know, I was able to, to kind of get in. Um, but I say that as like sort of a microcosm of like how you, how I tackle things in life in general is building relationship and trying to be value, like create valuable relationships where it's really symbiotic. So this is something that I tell, like even the folks at my job currently is that I actually, when I look back at it, I've never taken a position and I've, I have, I've worked at, I don't know, I think like seven different places or six different places in, over my career. I've never worked somewhere where I did not have a relationship that got me in the door. So that's not, I don't think that's necessarily ideal. Um, it just kind of happened by circumstance, but that was because um, I had really paid attention to being to, to, to the relationships that I built over time. So, um, and last thing I'll say is like, I, I got my first internship because I was waiting online. You know, you know, you have the, the, the job fair at Brooklyn College and I wasn't supposed to actually be there. So someone actually told me about it and said, hey, you should, you really need to, sorry about that. You really need to get in on this. So I went to the, the, the fair and they said, oh, that person right there, like he's, I know him, like, go, go talk to him. And I was online and like this group of, it was like five people in front of me. And every one of them seemed incredibly nervous. Like everybody was shaking, essentially shaking the guy, like trembling to shake the person's hand. And I saw that and I was like, oh, okay. I need to, I need to be braver than everyone here. That's essentially, I need to be more aggressive than everyone here. And when I went to talk to the guy, we didn't even talk about the internship that much. We talked about the Knicks, right? Like that's, it was like, it, it, I found something that we had in common and I just kept on that and like talked to him as a friend. And in a couple of weeks, I, he checked references or whatever, but after that, like I got the internship. So um, that's what I mean. Just like be you, showcase your personality because essentially people want people they feel like they can work with and alongside, so. First of all, shout out to the Magnet Career Center. I have gotten all of my internships through them. It wasn't just Sabine, it was Miriam, it was Pam, it was Paula, all of them. Um, but the biggest thing I did before I graduated, I think it was about four months before I was about to graduate. I had no connections, or at least I thought I didn't, besides the Magnet Career Center. So I said, you know what? I have a LinkedIn. I went on LinkedIn. And I chose the top three fields I wanted to get into, which was marketing, um, anything else under marketing, like public relations and, um, and product management. I looked for those people and I shot, no joke, probably like 100 people a week, a message. About 25 of them would respond to me and I would get them on a call for 10 minutes. Again, when you're speaking to people, you know, just don't choose someone because they have a title. Choose someone like I like the way they write something resonates with me. They may have the same birthday month as you, something. Call them, get on the phone with them, ask them exactly what they do. People love to talk about themselves. That's the best 
uh, avenue you can get in. And I went from 12 LinkedIn connections, five of them being Medicare Sensor employees to 500 connections before I graduated. And I know every single one of them, not just people that I added. And that was completely out of my comfort zone. That's something I never thought I can do. I had a speech impairment at the time as well. I had just came back from an injury and it was, it was hard, you know, behind the scenes, but talking to people and getting to know them was very easy. And getting into Microsoft, I actually didn't get the offer after the interview, but someone I spoke to on LinkedIn was cousins with a VP of Microsoft. And I told them about my interview experience and they got me back into the role. I interviewed with two VPs. We didn't talk about any of my skills and my experience. They just liked my ambition. They liked the fact that I followed up and I got in within two days after, within a full-time role, not just the internship, a full-time offer. So again, like what Jelani was saying, stress the fact on, you know, not what you don't have, but what you can have if you just put yourself out there a little bit more. Networking is your friend, okay? I know some of you may think that because I've had someone say that I don't like to network, you know, I don't want to get in because I spoke to this person. I want to get in because I did hard work. Just because you network with somebody means you're not, doesn't necessarily mean you're not putting in the work to get there. Um, so I would definitely tell you that networking helps you get to the next step because uh, that person remembers you. They're, they could remember um, your, your presentation, how you carried yourself, how you spoke with them, what you guys related on, and they can help get you to the next step. Um, so it's a really great opportunity to go to events like professional um, professional association events or stuff like this that the Career Center offers. Things I would definitely tell you to do as you're on your journey is heavily utilize the Career Center as we all did to get to where we are today. Um, literally got my part-time part -time HR job through the, um, the Magna Center and my internship job. So they help you tailor your resume. They, they, were, they were my one-stop place when I first got into this field because they, they literally um, set the, the path for me thereafter. Um, along with do, um, going to the Career Center and utilizing the resources there and the counselors, um, definitely consider going to job fairs. Um, people get to meet you um, face to face, you get to hand your resume. And I actually got hired through the Big Apple job fair that came up. That's um, the Office of Citywide Recruitment. Um, their recruiters were there. I was able to give them my um, my resume and be hired into the city through a job fair. So that can be definitely be beneficial. Um, and what I can tell you, I am a prime example of how it is to network with people because when I got hired into the city, I was working in a position that was called test and measurement specialist, which is someone that's creating the exams for the city. And the, the beautiful thing about networking with this group, by still working along with them by volunteering to do stuff like this, uh, they eventually had an open position. They remembered that I worked with them and that could have helped, you know, secure my position in which I'm now sitting in today. So definitely heavily network with people. And that's pretty much my spiel for what you guys can do. Make sure to check out the My Career tab on the BC Navigator app, where you can track your career progress based on the amount of credits you've earned, stay updated on upcoming events from the Magner Center, and watch our videos for insight and advice on your career field.